Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Under Rail with No Fair Fight. We have killed most of the stalkers, however, I'm not sure we killed everyone. And I don't want to get um, forth and back and back and forth when we have not taken out all of the enemies. So we'll make sure that everyone here is dead. And therefore we'll drop some of the stuff, we'll come back later and get it, and um, simply clear the place out before we do anything stupid that we regret later on like leaving enemies alive and kicking that would be bad the weapons sadly are of no use to us at this point ours are better but we have full movement again that's good there is an open door there might be others so let's be really careful. Is there someone? I don't think so. I've got a bad feeling about this. We better rise shields. Oh crap, there is someone. Yeah, that was not your cleverest move, sir. Is you are in a lot of pain now and down he goes beautiful the question is are there more of them or not no if there were more of them um, they would have activated so I think we can call this area clear there's some lockers but we come back for that later first we have to make sure that there is no living target around Let's recharge our weapon, or reload. I always say recharge, but of course I mean reload. And yes, I fear the uh, crossbowmen the most at the point, because they're doing so awesome amounts of damage. There is a way down. But not our concern. We secure this floor and then we go off. First, we have to make sure that this floor here is secured. Our perception is so high that I don't think that anyone is able to uh, sneak upon us, hopefully. Oh boy, this is disgusting. Are oh, this the toilets? Ventilation shafts, look at that. Oh yes, sir. Uh, I absolutely want to go in there. Let's find out what is there. Open that up. There are no ventilation shafts here in the icy area. Where does this lead us? Maybe we can get a look what else is here. Okay, this is the arena. Some dogs fighting. These are dogs as well. They're tackling each other. We're not interested in that. We don't care for dogs that much. There's nothing here with our perception. We would find any secret door with ease. Ooh, is that a secret? Let's open that one up, shall we? And we should rise our shields just in case. The problem is that the shields are not very useful against enemies that have um, crossbows. Look at that, fire barrel mines and spiked pike leather boots, but we need to eat something, don't we? And we're still overloaded, how is that possible? But not by a lot by five. That comes from the mines, I guess, or from the boots, or both. If in question, it's always both. Okay, we open this and get through here. It's blocked on the other side. How so? Deactivate the shield for the moment. We're losing too much energy. 
Maybe the dogs are fighting each other. If we let them out, they might be not fighting anymore. Maybe that's the answer. A bee-headed man. Judging by the way the blood was pouring down his cloth, the man has been decapitated while being in an upright position, and not a single cut as the messy mount testifies. They're fighting each other. Oh great, now they're fighting me or what? Yay. I hope I didn't call someone in by doing that. This is a dead end. We'll go for the dog's corpses later on, but I, I am fearful that there is someone on this side of the map. Oh yeah, you bet. No? There is a secret or a sealed door, really powerful one here. I don't like this. This simply looks like trouble to me. I wonder. Oh, look at that. Security cameras. Well, I hope that didn't activate anyone. Obviously it didn't. Oh, it did. Great, we're uh, incapacitated. We can do nothing. Not even move. Okay. You think you're a clever fellow, are you? Well, I've got a surprise for you, sir. Oh, crap, I cannot move. Well, then, uh, how about a force field? Protects you from me and me from you. So, can I please have a trap, sir? No, I cannot. Great. He's not coming for some strange reason. Oh, there he is. Great. Okay, do, can I do a Psy attack? That means you're dead, sir. Nobody survives this. Yeah, I thought as much. Lower shields, rise weapons. If there were any others, they would be appearing now. I'm carrying too much stuff with me. Isn't that so? How much life are we missing? So... Fortifications, but this area is secure. This area is secure. Do you have anything with you, sir? No, of course not. Nothing that I can use. Great. Ooh, look at that. Surveillance monitor. The problem is we just shot... Um, the only camera. Didn't we? I'm pretty sure we did. It's blank. Yeah, we destroyed it. Perfect. Oh, crap. There is a barrel. Ventilation shafts. We know where those lead. Oh, barrels. More barrels. Barrels are always good. Now, nah, well. Yay! Ooh! What is that? Electrokinetic imprint. 
got no idea what that is. Generate an echo imprint at the target location that deals 60 to 141 electronic to first. Hey, that's a trap! That's more or less an electric trap. Impressive! Really impressive. I like it. I really do. Oh, a lot of entrails. That's heavy. That's the beheaded man. We can do nothing with the man. It just tells us that he's dead. The boxes here are empty. The freezes are empty. There's still a locker, uh, the locker and maybe some extra loot over here. And then we have to carry all that stuff back. We could theoretically, theoretically drop our combat equipment here and um, take it back when we're home uh, when we come here to fight on again so that we don't have to walk two times maybe that's a clever plan does he have anything we can use uh, special attacks by 28 percent that's interesting the armor is not take everything Blueprints for micro scaptral bullets. That is quite good because we're going into uh, the production of that stuff pretty soon. So, what do we want to drop here? We go to that box and then I think we'll put our gear there. The grenades, the food, the batteries and all that. And then we can carry more stuff home effectively. Okay, so this goes here, this goes here, oh, that goes here. We're not without weapons, however, because we're carrying so many of them that we will still be okay. So no problem here. The money has no weight, so we can carry that without problems. At least in theory. And this should give us really some carrying capacity to get all the good stuff home. So, we leave the food. 13 minutes is enough to carry everything home, I assume. We leave all the grenades here. And the good thing is we can drop everything we have um, in the... Well, except for this stuff, because that is, has no weight. Um, in the locker, then. That's far easier actually we should do that more often um the traps the repair stuff that's all heavy oh the loot still makes quite a lot of our stuff of the weight of the stuff You would not believe how much crap we're carrying around with us just to be combat effective. Unbelievable. Even that stuff has a lot of weight when you have enough of that. The charger. The compass. Oh, you know what? Let's leave that here as well. Then we can just... Makes no difference if we do it this way or the other way around. And it makes it a lot easier in transportation and switching stuff. Do we have a lot of stuff or not? Okay, we want to leave the ammunition here. Uh, but not this ammunition, this ammunition we're going to sell. Stealth increased, intimidation increase. That's all nice and well, but we don't need that. That is sh looking in the dark. We should keep that. Critical range increased. How good is mine? Perception. That would actually make sense to increase, uh, to take this or to equip this 11% critical range because then we have really a lot of critical so I say we keep one of those as well good 
Very, very good. Let's take all this stuff. And we're overloaded. Well, we can equip some of the armor. And we can equip some of the weapons. 9mm. And maybe some of the some of that just if if bad things happen we should not be totally without any gear we don't have batteries so the um the shield is kind of pointless wrong ammo type what what armor is that using nine millimeter The problem is we cannot even reload really fast at this point because uh, we don't wear our belt. Oh, we're wearing our belt, so we can reload pretty fast. So that's not the problem. And we still have our psi powers that do not need anything, so that's okay as well. It's really hard to find good boots. We should make metal or build by metal boots with with uh, movement springs if we get anything like that. That would be really effective. Move it. We can do it. You can do it. Man, are we slow or what? It's not even so that we're getting a lot for this loot anyway, because we have no way to sell it. Nobody's buying this big amount of loot. Firearm barrels, 44 caliber. <laughs> Mine cases, knives, crossbows, moon soul crossbow. Maybe someday I should build a character with crossbows because I fear them so much. wonder what's the difference oh the critical hit chance and the critical bonus it's widely different but if we can equip this and together with our weapon with the critical hit chance we should have a pretty big critical hit chance shouldn't we it's 25 percent and we're firing seven bullets per burst That means statistically we're nearly landing two critical hits each time we do burst damage. That's not that bad. Still with this being stunned all the time from the electric bullets, the shock bolts, that's something we should do something against. Completely resist the damage it's done for one turn. That's all they need to take me down. Even though my hit points are okay-ish. Are you selling anything new, sir? Perhaps shield generators? No. But you're buying shield generators, which is beautiful. How much, sir? Woutsies. That is miserable. There is no other way to say that. You kill so many people and you get so little out of it. Well, except for experience. The experience was quite good. Are you you're buying belts? How many belts? You're only buying one belt. Screw you. Uh, you're buying ammunition. That's okay with me. 
I'm not selling the special ammunition. Are you selling anything that I can use? Not really. That is special ammunition for the weapon I use. That is a Molotov cocktail. I always buy those. Um, critical hit chance by 10%. Damage by 26 from special attacks. I always buy the traps I can get. Your weapons are not good. Not worth my time. So that's it, I guess. Yeah, that's it. Let's see what else they sell. I should get rid of put that into storage. Okay, talk to me. What do you offer? 15 to 45. That is more than I have, but it also costs more action points. Um, 15 to 43. Position bonus. That could be an idea, however, I'm not totally happy. This is very good steel. How about the armor? No, the armor is not good. The ammunition I'll buy because I love good ammunition. Um, sniper rifles. I don't have mine for comparison. This has more magazine than mine. But that's about it. Increased by a mounted scope, but you are buying assault rifles. How many weapons for firearms? Okay um, Quick look this is in any case really worth a lot This is worth a lot this is worth a lot This is worth a lot you're buying armor aren't you you are this is worth a lot how many? You're not buying that much armor, okay. But you're buying close combat weapons, are you? Not that many, though. Okay. Um, Wowtsies, he still has money. Unbelievable. And now he's buying nothing anymore. Great. I should buy those creel stone bars. That's very, very costly, but I'll pay it. And I'll buy the napalm as well, because I like that. Um, anything else that I totally need? No. Blast cloth? No, no, no. Okay. Um put that there are you selling anything new miss Heidi telekinetic proxy we already know that okay let's transfer everything sort everything we'll take the coin we'll take the special ammunition no not that ammunition we'll take the special ammunition Everything else can stay. Is there anything we should take with us under all circumstances? I don't... The traps. We should keep the traps. And where was the Molotov cocktail? I'm pretty sure we had one extra Molotov. Or was I wrong there? Ah, I've got that here. Okay, so everything's alright. I'm naked! That's okay. That was not too bad. He killed two guys, made some coin, found some more traps. Not as many as we used up, point taken, but still enough. Still enough.
Move it, move it, move it. So, I hope they do not respawn. The moment we're a maniac within in our underworld traveling through the most dangerous places of the underrail. Just with a cocktail in our hand. And a bullet belt. Man was must we be nuts. Good experience here. 14%. Our defenses are non-existent. That's really evil. We don't have any kind of evasion or dodge or anything. I think we did come from this way, didn't we? 230 hit points. <sighs> we'll be rising constitution next. One more point to 9. And then to 10. And the hit points are retroactive. Our stuff should be here. Let's hope we don't freeze to death because we've got no clothes on. Yeah, we take some cold damage, but we're okay. But we glow in the dark blue. Take all. Get ready for combat, sir. Is the weapon good? Yeah, the weapon's good. The weapon's good. The armor's good. We need some goggles. I think we should try those. How good are our critical chances now? 28%. Absolutely terrific. Um, blinding grenades. And sort that for a moment those yeah looks okay to me we're ready to go so we we'll see each other next time until then bye